welcome to another episode of Keys and Slaps. I'm Yolanda. I'm Jason. Hello, humans. This is our 10th weekly haul episode. So that's kind of exciting. Um, and we are going to go ahead and get started with our off the shelf section. Yolanda, what you got? Well, it's only the most popular comic this week. Yeah. It's popular for a lot of reasons. So, number one, Joker number two. First appearance of Bane's daughter, known as Vengeance. And they had multiple covers. We don't have the cover A to show you, but a few of the other covers. This one is the Lee Bermejo cover with Miss Punchline on the cover. Um, I think at some point she will show up in the DC universe. She's just too important of a character now that she is the Joker's henchwoman. Mm -hmm. She also made it onto a sketch variant by Ricardo Federici. I love those sketch variants. They are. They're pretty sweet. Now, though, this is the uh, this is the what important else did one. We get? So this one has been making all sorts of waves. And when I went to the comic book store. Our local comic book store is very, very good to us. They actually got a few copies of this variant because they ordered so much. And they saved me one because they knew that I would want it. And I'm talking about the Santa Prisca cover with Vengeance on the cover of it. This book has been going insane. I will insane. show you some prices, right? On eBay. Jewish yes. on eBay. For a book that came out this week, it's pretty insane. So this is a secret incentive. So for those who may not know, that means that retailers got one of these for every 50 books that they ordered of Joker 2. However, the retailers didn't know they were getting this book, so you couldn't have like increased your order artificially to 50 just to get this incentive. So it was a secret incentive. They didn't even know about it until after the orders were uh, uh, the uh, final order cutoff time hit. Yeah. So it's really unclear exactly how many of these were printed. They are going nuts. Like Insane. we showed you all, all over the place. We got it for a super, super fair price right off the shelf. And we want to thank our wonderful friends at uh, Westfield Comics for yeah. Um, for making sure we were able to get one. Of course, we stormed the door at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Right we were, yeah, we got it anyway. But first one there. Yeah. There were, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, really good stuff. So the last one that I picked up is Carmen number two. Um, this book was very interesting because it had a lot of pictures, not so much dialogue. Um, the dialogue that they did have was really important because you learn about as to why Kata killed herself in the first book. You learn more in-depthness about that story, and she also is learning how to fly. That's what's mostly in the beginning part of the book. Lots of pictures, not a lot of dialogue. Yeah, so this is a really interesting bridge comic as we're talking about today, because one of the same artists for this book also works on Joker, and while you mentioned that that book was not very heavy on dialogue, I got the picture of, of everything else, number three. And this book is very heavy on dialogue. You know, it's it sort of got this Victorian feel. It's still a really beautiful book. I love how this book looks. Um, it's got this sort of watercolor type art style to it. It's super cool, but man, like a Victorian villain, the, yeah, the, uh, the antagonist likes to talk for several panels, um, maybe even more than than's absolutely required. So pick that up this week. Um, also got Proctor Valley Road number two. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I have not started reading this book yet. I have it on my list of things to do. I have a very long list of things to do. Um, so it's not a top priority, but I will be reading these, so I've been uh, making sure to collect all of these. So next is the new to us. Yeah, Scott. so this section is things that we, maybe we got at that LCS, like diving in the dollar bins or back issues, or we ordered online or something like that, but not stuff that came out this week. So this was actually a book that came out, I believe it was last week, and I did not storm the doors that day. Mm -hmm. Someone else did, and my understanding is that Westfield actually had quite a few copies 
um, but someone didn't pick them up, so I actually had to order them online. Yep. Yeah, I don't know who that was. I don't know who that was. They sound yeah. like an idiot. Let's move on. Well, it was Berserker, number one, second print, foil edition. Just an amazing book. I mean, it's Keanu Reeves. Of course I'm going to get it. Yes. That's going to be one of those books that's going to be super hard to find in a hot grade because mm -hmm. I don't think that's probably pressable. No, Maybe. it's not. And it's all It's not because it's foil. All right. Now, during one of our diving incidents, I did get this one, um, which is Daredevil number 10. That goes on the cover of it. But I also picked up the lot of Daredevil 1 through 18, which I was able to get another one of issue 10, as well as Echo's first appearance. And I went the route of getting the lot. I think it's a better deal, uh, just because the amount that I spent would be about the amount you would spend just on those two. So to get the other ones, I believe number one might have some worthiness to it in the future. Not right now, but in the future, perhaps. Yeah, absolutely. And lastly, I will go with Final Crisis. And this is number seven of seven. This is the first appearance of Calvin Ellis, who is not named during the comic book, but later becomes Black Superman. Now, there is... The third Black the, Superman. The third one, yeah. Yep. So there's also Val Zod. And mm -hmm. there's going to be a reboot of Superman, so no one really knows if it's going to be Valzad or if it's going to be Calvin Atlas. So we'll have to, we'll have to see. We'll have to uh, see. Yeah, and we are happy to pick that one up. Mm -hmm. While we're in crisis mode, I got Infinite Crisis, which is different than Final Crisis. Um, yeah, a lot of crisis stuff going on in the uh, early two thousands. But um, what's cool about this book is it is the um, First appearance of Jamie Reyes. Jamie Reyes, who is the third Blue Beetle. And as we mentioned on an earlier show, and you're probably aware, there is a Blue Beetle film adaption in the works. Um, and not this sure, character has been cast. This character has been cast. We don't know if this character will be the Blue Beetle in this. Yeah. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, just like Falcon Winter Soldier, we have like 15 different people who have been uh, Captain America. So uh, so we'll see. But this was a great uh, pickup in the dollar bin, so I was happy to find that. Uh, also, I found Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number three. Um, Lots of spec with this one. Yeah, there is some spec with this one. There are two first appearances in this. One is Volcana, and the other one is... Titania? I think it's or Titania. Titania. You know, it could be Volcana. I don't know. I don't know how to say those names. And maybe we will because the spec is that um, the T one yes. will be on the She Hulk show. So we'll see. Found this for like super cheap. It's a really nice, uh, nice copy, and I was happy to find that. Mm -hmm. Next up, I have. Oh, dollar bin diving. Yeah, this yes. was dollar bin diving. So. For those watching Falcon Winter Soldier, we saw that Contessa, Valentina, De La, De La Allegra, somebody, um, was, you know, Julia Lewis Dreyfus's character. Um, and she this, was a big reveal. She was a big the, reveal. For the new character. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, Secret Warriors 2, you see a new Madam Hydra. Uh, and you don't know who it is in in issue two, but then in issue six you find out it's Contessa. So we'll see. We'll see how they handle the character in the show. Um, a lot of spec that she'll also be in Black Widow. So we'll learn more about the character if it's the Madame Hydra version. I think these are cool books. Unfortunately, this is a second print. Uh, I was hoping to find a first print. But that one. And this is a variant print. Which I actually think is kind of a cool 70s, it literally says 1970s variant print. But uh, yeah, so this is the first time you actually know that that uh, Madame Hydra is Contessa. Mm -hmm. All right. So now... Now we are going to go right to our spotlight section. So 
you know, we want to talk about something kind of interesting and different um, each week. So this is our spotlight on Hotkey Comics, Hot which is actually a seller on Instagram that I got my first thing from this last week. And I'm just kind of giving a shout out. It was a really fun experience. Basically, it was like a little six, um, six issue Star Wars blind box. It was 29 bucks, shipping's included. And on the post, you saw like 12 different books. And it's like one of these will be, you know, one of these 12 will be in the 12 boxes that are being sold, right? So it's like a little bit of a lottery with like kind of mid value, kind of cool things thrown in there. It was a lot of fun. There were also a couple of really cool special books that like went only into two of the 12. I didn't get one of those. But it was still a lot of fun. One, I still got a good one. It was a lot of fun. So the uh, the two that I got, which I thought were kind of interesting, was I got Star Wars Tales of the Jedi uh, number one. This isn't like a huge first appearance kind of book or anything, but it's actually kind of a sneaky cool book. This really starts to kick off uh, the story of the Knights of the Old Republic timeline um, in, through the comics. And then um, I got a Chewy. first print of Star Wars number three. Um, I already have a copy of this book, and I think in a really early episode, I was kind of making fun of like how the fact that when when the folks at Marvel were um, first uh, working on this book, the film hadn't been out yet. They hadn't really seen a lot of footage. So, you know, their version of, Chewbacca. Their vil- version of Chewie's is interesting. Doesn't look like the Chewbacca I know and love, but it's a... Uh, that's a lot of fun. So I just want to give a shout out. Hockey Comics, I'll put their information down here. Check them out on Instagram. Uh, this is not a paid endorsement. It's just, it was a lot of fun and, and we this. wanted to talk about it. Oh, yeah. And then each box had like a little extra gift in it. And uh, I got a nice old Star Wars card that totally reminds me of my youth. You can almost smell the hard, powdery bubble gum that would come in these packs. Um, I think Star Wars. Cards like this were the first time I actually learned who the Sith were and the name of Palpatine because these were starting to come out before um, Empire. But long story sh- long, uh, I'll uh, I'll leave you with that. But yeah, check them out; they're really cool. And uh, I I sent a message and said I'm ready for the next uh, little mini blind box thing. So a lot of fun this week. Great stuff. We're totally stoked that we were able to get the Joker too. Um, Santa Prisca, Prisca, which again, that was like the secret name of the variant that they had on the invoice sheet for the retailers because that is the name of the island on which um, uh, Bane lives. So if you think it's a really cool cover and you're trying to find more from the artist Santa Prisca, that is not the name of the artist. That is the name of the island. That's right. Yeah. Serving up some knowledge there. Serving it up. All right. Boom. All right. Thanks for joining. That was episode 10. We'll see you next week with some, well, two episodes next week. We'll have our regular weekly haul episode, and we'll have our Falcon and Winter Soldier the wrap up. wrap up show. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Yes. Comment. Do all those things. Like, uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Bye.